I want to tell you about my unique experience watching Are You There God? It's me, Margaret, last Sunday. So I love going to movies knowing next to nothing about them except that they're just good and then just being surprised and being taken away by the plot. This was one of those times. The only thing here was that as the screening filled up, I noticed a couple of different things. One, I was the only man there. And two, I was getting a few strange looks and not the, hey, is that the guy from that really cool movie and TV podcast kind of looks? It's the, what are you doing here, man, kind. <laughs> so I looked it up and you might know this already. Uh, it turns out that Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. It's an adaptation of a famous 1970s children's novel by Judy Bloom that became both hugely popular but also found itself controversially banned in America because it taught young women about subjects such as puberty and menstruation, which, yeah, that explained quite a lot about the situation that I found myself in. But look, I was there already and the subject matter wasn't going to put me off watching it as well. So I took it as an opportunity to learn and grow as a person. And here are some takeaways and learnings that I got from my experience at Are You There God? It's Me, Margaret, about what young women go through during a very important stage of their lives. One, preteen girls sometimes practice kissing on their bedpost. Two, girls buying tampons for the first time is an awful lot like boys buying condoms and that you want someone of the same gender in the same way lads want to give other lads the, the nod. You know, the nod when you buy condoms for the first time that tells them, yeah bro, I'm planning to use these, which in hindsight would be pretty worrying if an adult was like, nice bro, uh, to a kid buying condoms. But hey, teens are stupid and they don't see these things. Three, apparently girls who develop earlier get bullied because the others are jealous. That's just mean. Uh, what are you at, girls? Like, cop on. Four, girls lie about getting their periods earlier than they do, just like lads lie about get kissing a girl on holidays. Five, even though they're excruciating to experience, there's a pressure and a feeling that girls have. And again, this is nothing new. This is just me being a dumb man. There's a pressure and an experience that girls have where they feel competitive about getting their periods and wearing bras and doing things that they actually are miserable doing just to prove that they're actually grown-up women. Six, also not news, but always just worth repeating. Eating. Catholic kids doing confession is fucking creepy. And last seven, and this is relevant, I swear, but also I learned that cinnamon rhymes with binnamon. So there you go. The more you know. Yeah, I think I'm uh I think I'm still a bit of a dumb man to be honest. <laughs>